yes it's on so um welcome to another blog it's kids group once again a channel where we come and be ourselves where we discuss anything and everything with me today i have a special guest he's going to be introducing himself we're talking culture today pertaining sex and virginity in the Yoruba kingdom so you're welcome sir thank you for having me i am chief moses emery jp I'm the Obari Chef of the Kingdom. Uh, as per your question, sex is something in the rural land that is revered. In the time past, I mean, during the times of our father, hardly kids discuss sex. Okay. And, uh, like I said before, it is revered. And any child that is seen in an unusual, even sit, especially a female child that sits awkwardly, is rebuked by parents. So children are brought up in a way of manner that they respect sex and they don't discuss it with them. But right now, modernity, Christianity has change our culture and uh, more especially the western education influence mm. has done so much that our culture has been eroded and you can see children these days discussing sex especially this era of uh, social media uh, social media the social media has not helped in preserving our culture. Okay. Uh, um, there's something I, that I really do not understand. I'm from here too, but it's something that I want to get, you know, I want an explanation on. Girls here, when they lose their virginity, the boy is supposed to pay certain amount, depending on the, depending on the, um, depending on the family. Why is that? Well, like I said before, sex is revered. And our female daughters, culturally, traditionally, are expected to go to their matrimonial home with their virginity. But in a situation where a, a maiden loses her virginity, it is incumbent on the parents to collect the price that they determine that is right for them from the man or the mate uh, partner that this virgin the girl it is something we met and we have stuck to it and uh, because of that our parents we always caution their female daughters. Sorry about the noise. We are in the open, we are in the open place. People come in and go. Just, just listen to them. So, uh, the issue of non-pay, non-payment non of uh, virginity <coughs> fee or fee fine or fine is not compromised in Uwara and in Urubu land. Okay, what? Okay. Go ahead. What if the girl is underage or she was raped, for instance? Uh, for instance, if a girl is raped, our tradition abhors it and sanctions follows it. The parents can report to any chief around who will now invite the rapist. And having interrogated him, if there is need for him to invite the police, he does it. Because rape is not something that is condoned in our culture. We okay. vehemently oppose rape, and any rapist is seen as a cultural uh, inf uh, inf uh, infamy. So, parents will always caution their male child not to indulge in acts that is that are inimical like that to the society. Okay. What if it's the girl that raped the boy? Well, we we've not seen cases of such being reported. Even because the boys don't talk. Yeah, but well, we don't. Our guests are seen to be above board. 
because uh, not until recently when the social media and uh, you see the intervention of uh, young girls watching the social media going to various uh, uh, going to various uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so uh, the social media has greatly influenced our de uh, female daughters to go through various uh, social media, uh, what do you call it, and it is that that has influenced them. Otherwise, we cannot. We've never heard of a case, or no, have we, uh, such a case been reported that a female raped a male. I know a lot of men, boys, but, uh, female, uh, yeah, for, uh, it's the other way around, male, male rape female, it is not out of place, and it is not uh, something that has not happened. So this, I cannot deny that. But the male, female raping male is not something we've heard of in this community. Okay, of any guy out there that's raped by a woman, please come forward. We have to come out and talk. Yeah, because it please. happens. I know that it happens. Well, <laughs> we may, we may, we we hear of it, but we've not seen any one reporting such an incident. Okay, so how can you feel tonight about this collection of um, virginity fee of time? Recently, I heard allegedly that somebody, a woman, a woman's husband, raped her daughter. The daughter happened to be she brought the husband, the daughter to the husband's house. So the daughter, the girl, is the man's stepdaughter. He disverging her and the wife demanded for the virginity fee. Is that right? Well, it was allegedly. Well, uh, I will frown and the society will frown at the woman's complicity in collecting the virginity fee from her mother, who is the supposedly stepfather of the girl. A reasonable woman would have done the most appropriate thing by reporting the husband to the family, family. of the the child she has raped he has raped well but when a, when she decides to hide such a thing mm. society frowns at it and it's condemnable well. and we uh, will not tolerate such a situation but and the happened. family yeah it could happen but when such a thing comes in the open the man is stigmatized too because uh, it is something that is not uh, uh, too good. Equally, the man can, he can even rape his own daughter. Yes. Because if you can rape your stepdaughter, there's the possibility that you can equally rape your own daughter. <laughs> so you cannot rule that out. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you for come, agreeing to come on. Welcome. For, this, for this woman, her daughter is pregnant by her husband. So it's unfortunate. It's a loss. It's a, it's a taboo for a mother and a daughter to have uh, to bear children for the same for the same man. It's a taboo, and uh, I don't think when such a matter is reported to His Majesty or to the Council of Chiefs, there must be sanction. Thank you so much. Thank that you for having me. So please subscribe to this channel, like this video, share it and press the notification bell so that you get to the fight each time i upload so i see you again next week bye bye thank bye. you thank you so much sir.